Yeah, going to the, the first enduro of the season. Um, not really thinking about too much being on the championship leading car. Um, a lot of people are asked about having the orange number on the car. For me, when I look at it, I think from Triple uh, Eight and from Roland, the pressure would be the same whether or not we've got the, that colour on the, on the side of the door. The expectation would still be the same that we should win the race. Um, I think that's what they go there every time. Sure, it's uh, important with the championship going on, but uh, like I said, I think we'd be expected to do the same job regardless of the colour on the door. The process between uh, what I normally drive with the Porsche 911 RSR compared to the, the V8 supercar, it's quite different. Biggest thing is obviously we're on the opposite side. Um, I actually don't mind the difference. I don't really notice because I grew up in New Zealand and now I've been driving in Europe a lot, so I don't really notice the difference. Um, obviously pulling a, pulling a lever for the gears is uh, quite different and blipping, um, that's pretty different. The rest of it's all um, pretty much the same, you know, it's got a steering wheel, it's still got three pedals, so um, you know, when you're a driver, you get in, you start to make a feel. We had a really great test day the other day with Shane, and I think it's also pretty important when you go with a guy like Shane, he knows the car so well, he knows all the procedures and he can sort of like bring you up to speed loads quicker with all the tricks of the trade. So. That's probably the biggest help of, of anything is actually having Shane as a driver coach. Mm. Schedule is pretty flat out. Um, so generally between racing in America, now in, Amer uh, in Aussie, so this weekend in Aussie, then back to Germany, then I got a bit more testing, then Rennsport reunion, which is super important for Porsche. Obviously it's 70 years of Porsche this year, which is pretty cool celebration, which we're gonna do at uh, Rennsport. I'll be driving the 919 Evo, so looking forward to having a spin in that. And then we've got the big race of the year, Bathurst 1000 final race in America. In between all that, uh, I had the great idea to try start a racing team this year, so um, I don't know if it's a brilliant idea or, or a horrible idea, I guess I'll find out in the future about that, but it's been fantastic. We've had the support of the Guild Trap group um, already on board and we've got some great ideas for the future with some uh, young drivers and stuff like that, so um, also that's a cool project on the side. Uh, still finishing up 2018, so still got some big goals, um, especially with the Enduros coming up. Um, 2019, uh, looking into it, We've got a lot happening at Porsche. Obviously, we've got Formula E coming online. Um, that's pretty big. Um, we've got the RSR program, so um, none of our programs are confirmed yet, but uh, RSR is looking quite good. We're quite competitive at the moment, um, and still plenty of boxes to tick. I mean, uh, we're leading Nürburgring 24 hour this year. Missed out, so uh, definitely need to go back there. Try to get a, a win at Le Mans and GT. There's Daytona 24 hour, which is only a few months away, so we're still already planning for that. Sebring 12 hour, so there's plenty of stuff to win. Um, to tick all the boxes along the way, so um, definitely working hard and uh, already planning for 2019. Unfortunately, I can't tell you yet what it is, but uh, already planning. No, you'd have to say it's definitely living the dream. Um, you know, going from racing around the world, um, driving Porsches and now uh, supercars and all that sort of stuff, it's um, absolutely amazing. So um, I couldn't think of anything else uh, different to do. I don't know, I don't think I'm good at anything else either, so that's, uh, I'm sort of stuck with that. But um, also the travel's hard, um, especially away from like family and friends, that's always difficult. But um, I think that's also part of the thing that you trade off, um, being able to drive amazing race cars every weekend. Um, you know, anyone would give their right leg to be able to jump into the cars and, and do it each weekend. So we can't complain. Sometimes it's tough when we have tough weekends, um, but you've got to remind yourself that we're some of the luckiest guys in the business.